12-year-old Bahia Bakari, now known as the Miracle Girl, left Paris with her mother on a plane to attend her grandfather's wedding in the Comoros Islands. On approach to the airport, the plane broke apart into the Indian Ocean about 15 kilometers north of the islands. Bahia said the plane they boarded was older and smaller. It also smelled strongly like a bathroom and had flies. The flight went on completely normal until the beginning of their descent. All of a sudden, Bahia felt a lot of turbulence, but none of the other passengers were reacting, so she assumed that it was normal. When the turbulence intensified and the lights started flickering, more of the passengers started to become more anxious and terrified. The flight attendant told them not to worry because this was very normal with bad weather. Bahia remembers her mother smiling at her calmly, asking if she had her seatbelt on, and running her hand through her hair. Bahia then turned her head towards the window and pressed her face into it to try and see what was going on outside. Then she heard a loud whistle that ran through the cabin followed by a crumpling metal sound. She heard several explosions and described what felt like an electric shock that went through her body. After this, she felt nothing like she was plunged into an abyss. When she woke up, she realized she was underwater and she felt like her lungs were blocked. Thankfully, she drifted up to the surface and was finally able to breathe. Because she was submerged underwater for some time, she felt like her throat and her lungs were on fire. Her left eye was also painful and she couldn't open it completely. She heard voices crying and calling for help, but because it was the middle of the night, she couldn't do anything. She couldn't see anyone. Luckily, she found some debris. Not knowing how to swim, nor having a life vest, she was still able to pull herself up onto it. Because the debris was smaller than she thought and she couldn't get her legs up on it, she just hung onto it and rested her head. Before she drifted off to sleep from exhaustion, she thought about her mother. She thought how her mother must have been worried sick and was already at the airport waiting for her, wondering where she is. Or perhaps her mother was angry at her because she didn't fasten her seatbelt tight enough and she fell through the window of the plane. When she woke up, it was dawn. She could see. She could see land. Bahia attempted to paddle towards the land, but the water was pulling her further away with how choppy it was. She had been in the water for about 13 hours when someone from the rescue efforts found her. They spotted her clinging to a piece of debris around bodies and wreckage. Bahia heard someone shouting, come here. When she spotted the boat, she let go of the debris and tried to swim to the rescue crew and couldn't. She was too tired and suddenly a wave crashed over her and she disappeared from sight. This was when one of the volunteer rescuers jumped into the water and swam 30 meters to grab her. A life preserver was thrown to both of them so they could be pulled back in the choppy waters. She was wrapped in warm blankets and given warm sugar water to drink while being rushed to the hospital. Bahia was found suffering from hypothermia, a fractured collarbone, bruises to her face, elbow, and foot, burns to her knees, and actual exhaustion. Once she was safe, she was transported back to a children's hospital in Paris by a French private government jet. Upon arrival, she was reunited with her father and all of her other family members. Later on, a psychologist came to see her and broke the news that she was the only survivor in this plane crash and that she was lucky to be alive. Bahia did not understand what the psychologist was saying at first. She knew that she fell from the plane, but it took her a moment to understand that not only did she fall from the plane, but all 152 passengers outside of her, including her mob, also fell from the plane and were presumed dead. Bahia was released from the hospital just after three weeks of undergoing treatment and facial surgery. This tragedy has not stopped her from flying again. She tells herself that there's very little chance that something like this would happen to her twice. Though she has managed to live a normal life, Bahia's father has mentioned that she has been more closed off in certain moments. In 2022, Bahia testified against the airline over the death of the French passengers on the plane. There were 560 plaintiffs in the case, a judge decided the company must pay 225,000 euros. Follow for more interesting stories like this one.